Hello everybody, my name is Aaron aka Pulling Teeth and welcome back to the Fire Pro Wrestling Fire Promoter Mode and we're in our second month now so uh, let's have a look at our roster we've only got a small roster at the minute we have all Dean Ambrose we have Jean, we have, I almost said John Moxley I've got Dean on the Marine we've got old naughty's Jeff Hardy we have Brian Danielson who is a champion we have Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler of FTR are our tag champs. We have 2003 Chris Jericho and we had Gunther. So everybody's still good. We need to hire somebody else because we need a nice even number for people. But I don't know who we want to hire. We could go Cesaro. So obviously it's not Claudio. Since the last I have put Claudio in... Oh yeah! Last time we got Big Bear! I kind of want to hire Big Bear. You know what, we're going to hire Big Bear. Oh, well, we're going to try and hire Big Bear. Because he did well last time. He beat Gunther. Go right down the middle. Big Bear's agreed to sign. Alright, let's have a look at this. So we've got Baby Face, <laughs> Dragon Heels. I think Big Bear needs to be a face. Big Bear's a face. Alright, he's in. Right. I kind of want to have a look at scouting. Although we don't have a lot of money. We'll save the scouting for the time being until we make a little bit more money. So we've got now enough people for... We could have four matches. Or we could have three matches if one's a tag match. Hmm. Have a look. Uh, stats, wrestle stats, wrestle stats. Hmm. How do we have a look at our last show? I don't want to change our style. Your title belts, personal advice, general advice. How do you have a look at your last show? Is there a way to do that? There should be a way to do that, surely. It should be in records. You'd think. Fucking match card in a tournament. Da, 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 da. I don't need to know any of this. Management. Great, thanks. We're going to have a look at our title belts, which <laughs> tells us nothing, really. About promotion stats. Again, tells us the results of previous event. It's there at the top. Ah, there we go. Right. So, our last event, Big Bear beat Brian Danielson. Oh, sorry, Big Bear beat Gunther. Brian Danielson beat Dean Ambrose. Jeff and Chris lost to FTR. So, I'm thinking because Big Bear got a victory last show, he should get the title match against Brian Danielson. Which then leaves the tag titles to possibly be defended. Cash and Dax could defend. <sighs> They'd only be defending against losers. Maybe we don't do that. Maybe we do singles matches. Cash and Dax are both have singles matches. One of them could face Gunther. One of them could face Ambrose. Yeah, we'll do that. And if one of them gets a win over either of FTR, then they can have a tag match the following month. The tag title match the following month. The following show. And then we could have Jeff and Chris face each other because they lost last week and they're not a proper tag team. Okay, that could work. But what I also want to try and do... So I want to invite some people. Because I want to invite people on like a women's division thing. Just to have a look. I'm tempted to go because we're in Europe and the only two women look in Europe, from the looks of it, available. Lara Croft, Tomb Raider and B Priestley. So if I maybe invite both of them. They're both 22 as well. Nice. So if I invite both of them. 
and then stick them in the match, see how they do. Let's try it. Oh god, she's a lot. Maybe not. <laughs> Lara, are you that expensive? Lara's cheaper. I'm gonna invite Lara. Got yourself a deal. Maybe we look out elsewhere? Uh, we got anybody in Japan who's gonna be cheaper? Uh, she's strong now. Hannah? Hannah Kimura, maybe? How much is Hannah? Oh god, she's even more expensive! Uh, Lean is good, not even the right style. I'm looking for showman first and foremost. Maki Ito. Oh, Maki's very cheap. They're interested in workers, but not that sort of event. Alright, never mind. Maki was cheap, but she didn't want to work. What sort of event? What do you mean? We've not even booked an event yet. Mm. Alright, let's look at America. Uh. Adam Payne, uh, Alexa Bliss. How much is Alexa? Too expensive. Anna J. Oh, Anna J's not bad. There we go. Anna J's in. All right, let's get our event booked. I think we've got everybody we want. World title match for the main event. Brian Danielson versus the newly acquired Big Bear. Uh, we'll put the women's showcase match here. Lara. Which Lara gear? Uh, we'll go traditional Lara gear. And Anna J. What have we got for Anna? Uh, we'll go with the blue gear. Right, so now we want the two tag champ singles matches. Dax in his red. We said we're going to go against Ambrose. One was in the black. Then we wanted Gunther to take on Cash. Cash in his red too, because FTR have to match. And then we're going to open with Jericho. And Jericho in the purple. And Jeff in the red. Okay. I like that card. I do like that card. And just a second. Is Jericho a junior at this point? He is a junior at this point. Could put the junior championship on the line with Jericho and Jeff. Although they were losers last week. No, so what I want to do is I want the junior division championship to be the equivalent of the women's division championship in this. That's my idea. So I'm not going to put it on the line for them. And I'm not going to put it on the line for these two because these two are neither of them are under contract at the minute. They're purely just invited to be here. Right, European small hall is fine. Full house. If we go up to 20, we're still full house. We're still full house. We're about 40. Still full house. 60. Still full house. 80. Okay. We're not if we go 80. If I go medium haul, drop us to 40. Mm. 20. 10. Okay. So we're going small haul. And we'll not overshoot. We'll go with 40 because these two could no show. <laughs> Referee Teddy Long. I think everything is set here. Oh, it's not there. Right. And, uh, you know, I'll just do this quickly for every... So it should automatically do it. Then we can tweak anything else as and when, because those are things that we want to keep the same every time. Right. I'm fairly happy with this card. Gotta look at merch. Well, we didn't do too badly for merch, to be honest. 
Uh, you're gonna keep just a thousand. Uh, do we want to expand to anything else? The next cheapest thing are towels. Try with a thousand towels. See what that comes out like. Can we do anything with this training center yet? Not really. Do I want to fork out for the expensive? Uh, I'd be tempted. I'd be very tempted. We might end up walking away with another. You know, I'll not this time. I'll not this time. I'll see if we walk away better. Yes, I do have a separate save as well. That I'm doing just in my own time. I've got quite far in it, as you can see. I'm in year two, month four, I'm rank B. The way I'm telling the difference is, you know, this one I've put in America, whereas this one's in Europe, so I know where I am with both. So save over ours because you can't change the name of it. It's just puts of whatever roster. All right, let's try this and hope that Anna J and Lara don't know show us. Fingers crossed, people. Okay, it looks like they've shown up. That was quick, but yeah. All right, Jeff Hardy, and Chris Jericho. I think we can skip this one. I don't want to watch every match in this. We're going to watch the main, obviously. And I think we watch Lara and Anna Jay to see what they do. And which tag match do we... Or which one of the, the tag champions matches do we want to watch? Come versus Cash or... Ambrose versus Dax. We'll skip this one first. And dramatic pause. Very dramatic pause. Ninety-three percent. Jericho beats Jeff Hardy with an uproot, so a deadlift German suplex in eleven minutes and forty-two seconds. Jericho gets the victory. Okay. Uh, I think we'll watch the last race. So we'll watch Ambrose and Dax. We'll watch Lara and Anna and watch Big Bear and Danielson. So we'll skip Gunther and Cash for now. We'll see if Gunther can get a victory over Cash. He might earn himself a tag team championship match. Might. We'll see. Oh, but he came up short. Jumping pile driver. Cash Wheeler gets the victory. All right. Let's see how Ambrose does. Ambrose versus Dax. Let's go. We're watching this one. Dean Ambrose, Dax Harwood. If Ambrose can get the victory, he gets himself a tag team championship match. We'll need to find him a partner, but he can get himself a tag team championship match. Look at this tash on the referee, and here we go. Already a shoot takedown from Dax. Dax is not messing around. Took Ambrose straight down to the mat. Off the ropes, holds on tight. We up test of strength, but that didn't last very long. Scoop and a slam. These two heavy handed, brawling styles. Was he got more of a straight up old school wrestling style with Dax? You've got more of a bit more of the hardcore brawly style when you've got Ambrose. Not as much as his counterpart, John Moxley, but it's up there. A bulldog from Ambrose, nice. Sits him up, gets a running start off the rope, sliding lariat. Oh, and another lariat turns Dax inside and out. Shooting star cell lands on his face. Jumping head, but Ambrose started to take full control here. Falling elbow to the head. More elbow strikes. Groggy now goes behind. German suplex, stands him back up, goes behind again, but caught with a Russian leg sweep. Both men down centre of the ring for a second. The Dax is in a little bit of trouble. Ambrose is very nice. Boss man slam. More stomps of the ribs. And the original Dirty Deeds dropping him on his face. Cover one. Two. Is it going to be a short one? No, it's not. Dax still in this one. Scooping a slam again from Dax. Obviously Dax is slightly out of his element. He's more of a tag team wrestler. Dean's more of a singles wrestler. And it's starting to show. Dean outpacing Dax quite well here. Diving Lariat. Dragging him away from those ropes. And goes for an STF. 
Very nice though, as we know Dax has some issues with his knees, you can see the knee braces. Goes for a jab, does not connect, but sends Ambrose across the ring, charges in after him, and Ambrose just moves. Dax is getting outclassed in this one, elbow drop to the spine. It's unfortunate, as Dax is an incredible performer, but he's a tag team specialist. And it's starting to show that he's a tag team specialist because in this singles match it's been almost all Dean Ambrose dirty deeds. Done dirt cheap. One, two, th 2.9. I thought Dean had it. I thought Dean was going to be challenging for the tag titles. Another one. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. One, two. Oh, again, Dax kicking out. Dax still in this one. Struggling, and oh, here we go, back and forth, brutal elbow strikes. And Dax, oh, faints the punch, DDTs, Dean rolls through and close lines. Both men down, back to their feet, Dean goes for a front drop kick, does not connect. And another day, Dean, that's three of them now. Dax in the ropes, though, really in the ropes. Dean slits behind, back drop driver right on the top of his head sits him up charges off the rope slides in with the lariat and then back up again goes for another front drop kick doesn't connect he's not doing well with those but another headlock driver the original day needs one two no Bon Scott of Dirty Deeds if you get that reference points in the uh, points in the comment section Oh god. Oh, I thought he was going to get Power Driver. He's not thinking Power Driver. He's thinking Gory Bomb. Very nice. Pulled that out of his ass. Stands him up. Dax now just dirty boxing style. Oh, goes for the jumping cut. I was going to call it the MOX. That only works when he's Moxley. Off the ropes. Lariat. Well, these men have got some heavy hands. They can throw big lariats. Sit out. Power Bomb. Liger Bomb style, two, just a two count. Dax is starting to get back into this, but it's still been mostly Ambrose. Uh, dragon screw leg whip there. Always a smart one to take your opponent down with that. Big heavy handed chop, and he goes in for that modified leg lock, that modified figure four Indian death lock style. I don't even know what you call it. Doesn't work though, Ambrose still in it. Oh, goes for a choke. Ambrose just gets on the back of it, goes for a choke. Reminiscent of what would later be known as the Bulldog Choke once he is uh, in the guise of John Moxley. But a spike DDT there from Dax. Didn't hook the leg, but it was far too close to the ropes anyway. And another sit out powerbomb. Jushin from the Liger and Batista would both be proud. Still not getting the job done. Spike DDT once again. Drags Ambrose up by his belt. And goes back to that knee bar. Back to that leg lock. Desperately trying to get Ambrose to tap, but he's not having it. Getting Ambrose to tap out is no easy feat. Another spike DDT, though. Dax seems to have weathered the early storm of Ambrose. And is starting to make a comeback. Shoot takedown. Oh, floats over. Ambrose bridges out into the backslide. Apparently, they were in the ropes. Another spike DDT. Way too close to the ropes with that one, Dax. And another spike DDT. There seems to be a theme here. He's just dropping Ambrose on his head until Ambrose stops getting up. It's, you know, it's pretty, uh, pretty sound strategy, to be fair. Up and a pile driver. Case of point. Just keep dropping him on his head until he stops getting up. Kind of groggy, but he's there. Oh, headlock driver. Both these guys seem to have the same strategy in that front. One, two, no. Somehow these guys are still in this. Brain Buster. Ambrose collapses to the outside. Dax is following. Big Lariat on the floor. Oh, Ambrose went for another Lariat. Dax just shoot takedown. Hammering down on Ambrose now. Close fist strikes. It's a 20 count here, so they don't need to worry just yet. Okay, now Dean's pissed. <laughs> and there is, he can still be disqualified. Oh, nice little rabbit punch to the back of the head. Donkey punch style. 
Landed back up. Oh, headlock driver onto the barbed wire baseball bat. That might do it. One, two. No, Dax still in this one just about. Dista putting on an absolute clinic in here. And X-Plex from Ambrose. And he's going for another, a second X-Plex. And Dax just gets up again. Dax thinking now, he's thinking that set out powerbomb one more time, one, two, three, Dax beats Ambrose, both members of FTR got a victory tonight, which says to me, there isn't anybody ready to challenge for the tag titles yet, 98%, damn right, that was a good one, proud of those boys, okay, Lara Croft and Anna Jay. Very random match, but we're going for it. See how these two do. See if either of them impress enough to be offered a contract. They're here a purely on invite. Referee rings the bell and here we go. Anna comes straight out of the gate with multiple elbow strikes to the chin of Lara. Tries to send Anna off the ropes. Anna holds on. Short arm Lariat. And another one. Sends Lara into the corner. 2K comeback style. But Lara. Brain Buster jumping. Brain Buster. But Lara stayed down longer. More forearm to the face. And it. Arm drag takeover. Drags Lara away from the ropes. Sits her up. Comes off. Slow drop kick. No, it was a slow drop kick, I meant low drop kick. Another arm drag takeover and a cover. Anna trying to end this one quickly. Sends Lara off the ropes, charges it herself, kicks her in the ribs. It's one way of doing it. And another short arm clothesline, 2K comeback style. Again sends her into the corner. Falls her through, but Lara kicks her way out of it. And a modified cattle mutilation, seated style. Lara. Doesn't seem right. Something seems off with Lara here. Don't know what it is. Knee drop square to the face. Oh, and a knee strike to the ribs. Elbow to the back of the head. Lara dragging Anna away from the rope. One set of ropes over to another set of ropes. So it didn't really help much. Snap by a takeover from Anna. Drags Lara away. More central now. Stands her back to her feet. Oh, but gets counted. Reversal. Don't know what happened there. Whatever it was, it didn't work. More forearms to the chin. Right on the jaw. Kick to the ribs. Forearm to the jaw. Back and forth they go. And it strikes him a little slower than Lara's. Lara just kicks straight back and Lara gets the better advantage in that case. Running splash to the spine. Shadows over hell, apparently. Well, like a standing version, so maybe shadows over heck. Oh, dragon screw leg whip. Leg whip. Took Anna down. Anna from firing back with those forearms again. Throwing a lot of those tonight. Off the ropes they go. Running kick to the ribs again. Anna goes behind. What's she thinking? Oh, nice. She got the uh, natural selection. That's the name of the move. Shouts out to Charlotte Flair, apparently. Anna dragged away from the ropes, stood back to her feet. Lara goes behind again. Ripcord knee strike. Stands Anna back to her feet another time. Sends her off the ropes again. Lara charges in, rolling European uppercut. And she's got the knee bar in. Twisting on that knee. Desperately trying to get Anna to tap, and Anna just kicks away out of it. Reverse the whip. Lara sent across the ring. So now Lara suplex brain buster. Dropped Anna high on her head. Lara's been pulling those out of nowhere tonight. Goes behind, just kicks out the knee. Drags her away from the ropes. Gets on the back. Oh, floats over into a pin. One, two. Oh, almost got it there. Surprised she went for a pin. Lara, oh. Razzle Dazzle goes for the kick, but Anna had longer out of the corner. But because Lara was showing off, she didn't see it. Oh god, oh god. Super Dragon style curb stomp. Off the ropes. Jumping knee strike from Lara. This is starting to pick up. Lara goes behind. Back elbow. 
charging in, rolling European up once again, but Anna's up before Lara is. Lara got her up in the air, there's that jumping brain buster, sheer drop style, cover, one, two, oh, I thought Lara had it. Anna just surviving, now Lara giving Anna a taste of her own medicine with those multiple forearm strikes. And a spinning back kick, black mass style. Oh, nice. Lara there with the flatliner. Give a bit of a reset there for a second. And a scoop and a slam. Sits Lara up, comes charging in, low drop kick. Lara got back to her feet. Deadlifts, a sheer drop brain buster one more time. Covers her. One, two, three. Lara with the sheer drop brain buster dropped Anna high on the top of her head scores a victory fairly impressive there only a 72 rated match though I'm wondering could Lara be the first to be offered a contract first woman to be offered a contract here for this uh, PTW could she be the first lady of PTW I'm, I'm down for it both hosts, we have one more match to go. We have the main event. PTW Heavyweight Championship. Brian Danielson defends against Big Bear. Big Bear who beat Gunther last, last I was going to say week. I mean, IRL, it's last week. Game these runners one show per month, so last month. Last show. We'll go with that. And here we go. Bear already shoots for a takedown. <laughs> Just clubs Danielson in the face. This is kind of fitting, to be honest, because there's a really joke about Darrison wanting to fight bears. I mean, you, if you ever followed the... Was it Superstars? Was it Superstars who used to talk about fighting bears all the time or main event? It was something like that. But either way, Danielson is getting his wish to fight a bear. Oh, Romero special into the choke. Well, it looks like it's probably meant to be a choke, but bear's head's too big to get it over his face onto his neck. Bear dragging Danielson around the ring. Falling headbutt, Kokushi style. Danielson throwing a forearm to the bear. Takes the leg out. Oh, nice! 69 knees. There's probably a different name for that. It's probably something like 12, 6 knees or something. Oh, the Psycho knee already! Danielson kid charging in with that, but bears up. Danielson knows he can't mess around in this one. You do not have a lot of time to take the bear out. Oh god! You have to come full force at Big Bear if you want to beat him. And Danielson is doing just that. Multiple stomps to the head. Can't give Bear an opening. You give Bear an opening and he will take full advantage of it. Just clubbing Danielson in the face twice. Drain him out. Bear now. Like I was saying, give Bear uh, give Bear an inch, he will take about 10 miles. Okay, so trying to work the arm now. Go oh, using a leg. I'm not sure what the count has with Bears. Kick to the ribs, overhead chops. Danielson actually got the better of that. Lama, he strolled from Danielson, but too close to the ropes. Brian Danielson just did a Lama, he strolled to a Bear. <laughs> just let that sink in. Darrison now heading up top, he might be thinking diving head, but he is! Diving head, but to the face of the bear. But bear dragging Darrison to the corner, rams him face first. Bear taking a run up, oh, but Darrison recovered just in time, shoots it down, cross face! Darrison with a cross face on the bear. Can he make the bear submit? No, not just yet. Bear with those clubbing overhead blows, just pushes Danielson down. When in doubt, just push him. And if it works, it works. Big bear hug! The big bear hug! Bear wrenching on Danielson, who does manage to escape. Barely. <laughs> but he does manage to escape. Leg trap, overhead strike there from the bear. Bear getting a run up. He's a little slow, and he gets too tired. <laughs> gets head butted in the face. Oh god, Danielson caught him. Float over to an R bar. Or is it a leg bar? Knee bar? I don't know. Either way, the bear does manage to get out of it. And big bear hug once again. Big bear hug to Danielson. 
squeezing the life out of him, but Danielson's still in it. Bear is tired, though. I mentioned it last week, or last episode. Bear's biggest problem is his stamina. Boost psycho knee from Danielson. Bear's biggest issue is his stamina. He gets very tired quickly. And that's usually the best way to beat him, is to tire him out. And Danielson has got stamina for days. So if anyone could tire out the bear, it is Brian Danielson. Lama, he stroll again to the bear, but he is far too close to the ropes. On court, back into the cross face. It's not a little bell lock, but it's pretty damn close. Oh, clubbing blow from the bear. Once again, bear, oh, gets caught. Kick to the ribs, Danielson, big kick to the face. Covers him, one, two, three. Danielson has defeated the bear. Danielson beat Big Bear. He is still your PTW World's Champion. Brian Danielson has defeated Big Bear. In quicker fashion than I was expecting. I think it was the quickest match of the evening. It was, but it's still got an E3. <laughs> Those two could put on a classic. Imagine if they had more time. Oh, that was... That was something else. That was that was a show. Oh, well over capacity. Got 137 extra people crammed into that venue. They were hanging from what the classifies as the rafters. Okay. I have no idea who either of those are, but they won the tag belts. Sweet, whatever. Oh, we made money again. Oh, we made quite a bit of money, actually. Now he's... Nothing else noteworthy happened this month. Okay. So, we did alright there. We're in March. Star Wrestling Night. LA Night? Nightwing? Probably Nightwing. Joined MWA. Alright, yep. We know about all this stuff. Good to know. But we're going to have a look at that more in the next episode. So thank you everybody so much for joining me in this one. It has been a genuine pleasure as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill by now. All the fun stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.